Welcome to Web Design Tutorials for HTML. This is lesson number three. And in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to add headings to your website. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is look for that HTML file that we saved on our computer. And when you find it, if you remember from last time, if we double left click on this file, it's going to open it in our web browser. And that's not what we want. And you'll see that when I double left click on it, it opened Firefox in the web browser. So let's go ahead and close that out. And then let's right click on this file. You'll get a dialog menu that pops up. Go to open with, and you'll get a flyout menu. And you want to select the option that says Notepad. So let's go ahead and left click on that, and that'll open up Notepad. And within Notepad, you want to click between the opening and closing body tag. And we can go ahead and write our first H1 heading tag. So I'm going to write H1, then I'm going to write my text that's in the middle. Or in other words, my element content. So I'll write web design tutorials for HTML. Then I'll close it with the H1 tag. So we have our opening and closing H1 tag. And then we have what's called the element content, which is in the middle. And element content is referring to that text that we just wrote called web design tutorials for HTML. And if you ever hear someone say that something is HTML, element or they say that this is an HTML element they're usually referring to the whole thing and when I say the whole thing I mean the h1 opening and closing tag and also the content that's in the middle so if you hear someone say HTML element I'll say it one more time when they when they say HTML element they're referring to both the opening and closing tag plus the content that's in the middle and that's for any markup tag that has an opening and closing tag if they say HTML element they mean the full thing the starting tag, the closing tag, and the content that's in the middle. But if you hear someone say element content, it's strictly referring to the content that's in the middle and not the markup tag. So I thought I just would let you guys know that. That way if you do end up watching someone else's tutorials and they say something that sounds confusing, you know what they mean. So let's go ahead and hit Control S and save this file. And let's go ahead and go back to that file on our computer and go ahead and double left click on it and it's going to open it in our web browser and you'll see that it says web design tutorials for HTML so when the search engines come to our website it'll look for that h1 tag and it'll say oh this is the most important heading on the website so this website should have content that's relevant to this heading so it's very important that you use the heading h1 tag only once because it's a main heading and I wouldn't recommend using any of the H1 tags more than once on any given page. You can use the H1 tag across many different pages, but on each of those pages, don't use it more than once. So let's go ahead and close this out and go back to our notepad. And when you get back to notepad, go ahead and hit enter. And this time we'll write a H2 tag for our heading. And I'll write HTML markup tags. So this could be our second most important heading. And if we hit control S and go ahead and go back to the file on our computer and double left click on it. And we could have alternately, alternatively refreshed the page and it would show it, but I just decided to go back to the file and double left click on it. But you'll see that it says HTML markup tags and this is our second most important heading. So when a search engine comes to our website, it'll say, hey, this is the most important second heading. I should probably look at that. So never have more than one H2 tag. You know, these are just my recommendations, you know, and to the best of my knowledge, you should not be repeating your heading tags more than once. And when I say repeating, that means you shouldn't have two H2 tags. You shouldn't have two H1 tags. You should have one of each. And the heading tags go from H1 to H6. That's the maximum number. So never have more than six H header type tags, if you know what I mean. So I think you get the main concept of how to add headings to your website. And I think you understand the importance of having good heading tags. One other thing that I want to mention is that you should include keywords. And if you didn't notice that, I included keywords like web design, the word, the word tutorials, uh, the text HTML because that was all relevant to the type of content that I would write on my web page if I gave it the title web design tutorials for HTML 
And the same thing for the HTML markup tag. You know, I would give it information that's relevant to that title. So hopefully that makes sense to you. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, embed, leave a comment, and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.